Cleanup and containment efforts continue tonight, 11 days after the chemical fire at the ITC storage facility in Deer Park. Yeah, a couple hours ago, Harris County Public Health sent out a statement that there had been, quote, steady progress and that officials continue to monitor the situation. Right now, crews are working to remove product from several tanks at the facility. And we're also told the Houston Ship Channel remains partially open and that more containment booms have now been put in place. Our Brittany Jeffers is live tonight with the very latest on this. Brittany? Well, of course, the focus remains on the cleanup, but unfortunately, the Coast Guard told us today that some of that oil has escaped from the booms. There were some places today where we could smell it in the air and see it in the water near Lynchburg Ferry. A murky haze in film on top of the water at the Lynchburg Ferry. 11 days after the fire at ITC Tank Farm in Deer Park, the Coast Guard says the wind shifted, and so did the cleanup efforts. And as that wind shifted, along with the currents and tides, some pockets of oil were able to escape some of the boom. The Coast Guard reassigned skimming vessels as the oil moved west to the Beltway 8 Bridge and Lynchburg Ferry. So far, they say 12,000 barrels of oil product has been recovered from the ship channel. Around the area, several parks near the water are also closed. The Houston Ship Channel only operating during daylight hours. At the tank farm in Deer Park, ITC says another 70,000 barrels of product needs to be pumped from damaged tanks to more secure ones. Health-wise, Harris Health System representatives tell me they've received over 12,000 calls from people on the Ask My Nurse hotline. The common symptoms being cough, shortness of breath, and headache. Galvin had his own symptoms. A coughing, watery eyes, and itching. He says he saw the cloud of smoke and felt it in the air outside of his house, and now he's waiting for more answers. Meanwhile, the president of ITC, Brent Netlin, turned to YouTube last night to speak publicly for the first time since the fire. i profoundly upset the incident happened. When I asked, ITC officials say they stand by his message. I know my CEO. I know his character. I can assure you that he's sincere, he's genuine, and when he speaks, he speaks from the heart. Now, another update to tell you about, we have learned that there will be another mobile clinic that'll be taking place from 9 a.m. until 2 o'clock this Saturday. That will be held at the Alvin Baguette Community Center that is in Galena Park. Reporting live, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC Channel 2 News.